In this new world video, we are going to take a look at the new drops for the Amrine and Starstone Mutator. NWDB.info just released all of the information for the new drops. So let's take a look at each one of them. First, I'm going to do the Amrine one, the Amrine Materia one. So let's dive right into it. For the first drop, we get a Fire Staff Flare Spark. I haven't looked at any thing like this yet but it comes with intelligence accelerating flamethrower refreshing evasion and keen so definitely intelligence i'm not sure if this is best but you can see here is the new one only mutators i think so you can see here starstones barrows mutated so it's a new muta mutation let's move on to the next item it's an amulet i see uh, something about promise uh, anyway it comes with focus health refreshing and fortifying recovery so really good amulet i know healers always want refreshing you might think divine but a lot of healers it's a requirement to have a lot of refreshing so pretty good amulet as well and the fortify will save them from assassins mostly but we will have to see Maybe the stamina one is a bit better, but pretty good amulet as well. Definitely a good start. Let's move on to the next one. This ring is crazy. Oh, I already looked at it. Simon's Hacks Silver Ring. So pretty, pretty good. Strength, obviously. Slash damage, leeching. So we don't have keen awareness here. And then hearty. So for the medium or a heavy bruiser, even a light. Obviously light with the hearty. I even like hearty on my medium bruisers. But really good ring. I'll definitely go get this. Just to get. You can see also the mutated one. So definitely a mutation worth doing. Let's move on to the next one. This is all from the Amarine mutated materia. So let's take a look at this. Spear. Brutal spear. Dexterity. Enchanted. Taunting counter. And enfeebling skewer. So pretty good spear as well except maybe we can swap the taunting counter or something else but overall pretty good let's move on to the next one going pretty fast since there's another piece of the dungeon that we need to cover the st star stone one so let's i'm just going quickly so dexterity for the musket tomb raider's rifle dexterity keen vorpal keen empowered uh maybe I don't know about the Keen and the Vorpal or the Keen and Power, but yeah, I don't mind Musket anymore. I used to, but not anymore, so I'm a bit out of the loop. Let's go to Armor, a uh, heavy headwear here. Excavator's Safety Helmet. It comes with Resilient, which is really, really good. We don't have a lot of best pieces for Resilient. But this one comes with Resilient, Critical Retribution, and Physical Aversion. It's not the best. But it's definitely a good start to start with something. Critical Retribution, Physical Aversion is definitely not low tier perks. But it's also not the best. But definitely a really good start. Even if you're heavy, this is probably really good for some users. Let's move on to a rapier. Simon Gray, Simon's Gray's Toothpick. Dexterity, Keen Empowered, Keen and Refreshing Flesh. Hitting a target via a backstab with face reduces the cooldown. So really good rapier here as well that we can pick up. Let's move on to uh, the ice gauntlet frozen mire or mire or whatever. It's constitution, intelligence, enchanted, keen fortify and unbroken wind. So if you, maybe if you want this, take a look at this one as well. Jumping on to another amulet, this one is intelligence, mana recovery, we don't really need mana as a mage I think, and then health, arcane protection, I hope this mutation brings in a new one, maybe arcane or lightning, but we will have to wait and see. Moving on to a bow next, dexterity bow, enchanted, vorpal, shirking, arcane, uh, probably not the best, shirking is not the best for a bow I believe. Let's move on to another one, another amulet. This one is a strength amulet. This one has refreshing, purify, and health. There's better amulets out there, but yeah, maybe you don't have something. You can grab that. 
this great axe i already looked at this one as well it's a crazy great axe with three damage perks which i don't think you can actually roll in a crafting in crafting but this one is a pretty unique enchanted chain void and taunting strikes if you give up refreshing move maybe it's worth it for this because you get free damage perks now and i don't know if you will even need to craft a great axe after this one unless you want a refreshing move but this one is, is pretty crazy i'll probably give up refreshing move if i get free damage perks it might be worth it if i can just auto attack anyway but yeah really really good yeah, i can't wait until we get to the great sword because that one is really crazy as well let's move on to a life staff lost fight focus obviously blessed refreshing divine embrace and then mortal refreshment maybe not the best if it had a refreshing move sure then it would be good but unfortunately it's just a two perker for me at least let's move on to the next one this one is a hatchet strength refreshing keen berserk and keenly empowered man uh, not really not really the, the best refreshing no. although it's just it's just a random drop drop i guess you we need some bad ones do you have some good ones this one the crusher craze also drops enchanted life stealing and chain fire not the worst not the worst but it can do better with sundering shockwave on the hammer so maybe if you don't have a hammer you can use this as spare as a spare but not not for me let's move on to a sword here this is a tanking sword i can see already constitution heighted enchanted and keenly fortify doesn't have a refreshing move i know a lot of tanks like refreshing move on their sword but this one doesn't have it but it has pretty good defensive perks and a little bit of damage and hate it maybe if you don't have something take a look at this one and now we're going to move on to the star stone one you can see you can craft this with star stone material i'm going to open all of this and go over it okay so let's take a look at the first item signal this is a bow it comes with chain fire obviously dexterity enchantment and mortal empowerment so a lot of damage basically free damage perks unless but you need to kill somebody to activate the empower so maybe not the best there's better out there i believe but pretty good pretty good to damage perks and you can have the potential to do a lot of damage after you kill somebody so pretty good as well next up a hammer let's see what this has Sundering Shockwave, really good. Mortal Fortification, so when you kill something, you can fortify. Maybe in clumps it would work, but Keeney Empowered recently has been nerfed, so it doesn't persist on weapon swapping, so that's pretty bad. So, um, maybe not the best, you can get something better than this. I know you can get one with Taunting Strikes and Sundering Shockwave at the moment, that you can farm from a boss in Brimstone. I got that one a pretty decent two perker but very good start very good start maybe you crit with the warhammer and you get a keen empowered let's move on to a blunderbuss lady of the ancients so this is pretty new because they never had blunderbuss when they released those dungeons but it comes with strength leeching sharp null blast mortal refreshment and life stealing not the best blunderbuss you want damage perks on it and you basically just get utility out of this one so not the best one now for this great sword i already looked at this great sword and it's pretty pretty good i'll probably i'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to pick this one up it has strength refreshing move really really good you already get a refreshing move on one of the ultimates but this one is even going to have more and then you get like strikes heavy attacks against targets inflicts disease for eight seconds reducing healing efficiency on targets by 23% we're already going to have an attack a lot with the great sword because of the stances but there's more we also get transient recovery which will heal us when we heavy attack for 39% of the damage dealt this is kind of crazy it's nuts if you want these two perks it's going to reduce healing and it's going to increase your healing really good i think 
for this. It doesn't have any damage perks, damage perks on it. So that might be a minus. But putting these perks together, you're probably going to stay alive for a long, long time using this. Especially if you're a tank. So really good. I'm definitely going to pick this up. Maybe rock some heavy armor with it. Really good. Let's take a look at the sword unanswered question. This one has 15 strength, taunting counter, keen fortified, and keen. There's better swords out there. Keen 8, for example, is the new damage sword. So maybe not this one. Let's go to two face. It's a spear. Dexterity, rogue, really good. Play crits. Uh, maybe if you want to hunt some healers and keen. We already get a good multiplier with two face. Maybe Vicious would have been a little bit better, but uh, overall not too bad, but you can probably do better. Let's take a look at Avoid Contact next, Intelligence, Refreshing Rupture, Refreshing and Keenly Jagged. Probably can get something better. I'm just going to skip this one. Abyssal Reckoning is the name of this one. And for an Ice Gauntlet, Intelligence, Unending Fall, life stealing, and shirking frost. Just a quick look at this one. Nothing to discuss really about that one. A ring. Let's take a look. This ring comes with constitution, hearty, and siphoning. Oh, also sacred. So mainly a healer ring. Although you don't get refreshing on it. Refreshing sacred hearty would be would have been a game changer, but siphoning. Maybe not the worst. Now you don't have to go to the market anymore. You can just pick this up. And you also have the siphoning. Which is like a D tier perk I guess. But for healers it's pretty good. Anyway. Definitely pick this up if you're a healer. This is a must have. You, like if you don't have refreshing on your ring. Because that's basically gold cap. Then you can just pick this one up now. Which is really good for healers. So definitely pick those. Pick, pick it up. Uh, stone even ring even I think I said it right I'm, I'm really bad with reading so tip of the morning star dexterity keen enfeebling skewer and then transient rent enfeebling skewer very nice transient rent maybe the heavy attacks and keen just gonna move on let's see ancient heart string uh, dexterity, life stealing, mortal life steal, and taunt encounter. There's better bows out there, I believe. So this one is probably just a salvage. Let's take a look at this. The obelisk, strength, enchanted, keen, sundering shockwave, pretty good hammer. Two really good perks. The keen, not really good because our critical multiplier in PvP is too low. Resilient will just counter this. Let's move on to a hatchet fleeting reality the strength dexterity enchanted and then we get the refreshing move all enchanted refreshing move really good on a hatchet i guess get your skills back your berserk and then chain nature also really good add some damage to your auto attacks so overall uh, i think it's mainly an auto attack hatchet if you want to run this but really good i'll probably keep this if it's if it ever lands in my inventory Take a look at this next sword, glacial longsword, strength, it, rail, it rolls with chain ice, trains and crits, and keen. Uh, nothing too special, but there's better swords out there. Now we go onto an armor set here, masquerade mask, intelligence, refreshing, freedom, and elemental aversion. Uh, it doesn't have resilient, it doesn't have ward, so probably not useful to anybody. Move on to a ring, fanged ring. This one has frost damage, leeching, and nature damage. Now, at first glance, this might look awful, but you can now slot in elemental gems, and you can also slot elemental damage on your armor. So maybe, but uh, frost damage... Actually, there's two damage perks. It's super good if you go medium. You can boost your dot damage that you have, and you can boost your frost damage with the spear at the same time. 
but you lose keen keen awareness anyway maybe you want to boost your damage with the elemental gems because the elemental gems give you two percent damage and the melee gems only give you one percent so maybe if you play assassin this could be good but yeah i'll definitely keep this just just to have it let's move on to a rapier obsidian rapier dexterity keen keen speed mortal refreshment uh nothing too special uh let's take a look at this great axe enchanted life stealing chain eyes so two damage perks taunting strikes would have been really good but we get life stealing instead and no refreshing move so uh, we, the other one is better that i mentioned beforehand let's move on to a fire stuff intelligence keen empowering meteor shower i think they nerfed the reality or it was bugged and then mortal empower so a lot of empower on this that's better out there i believe let's go on to an ice gauntlet for a moment i thought it's a void gauntlet but it's not and then keen mortal empowerment and life stealing keeping cold uh, i don't think this is any good let's move on to this one i remember this pendant I used to have it. I used to run it when I was a healer. At the start, I was healing. So, pretty good for any type of class. Slash protection, health divine. This was basically like 300 and something K on the market the other day. So, having this, where you can go 625, crazy. Exactly crazy to have this. So, definitely pick this up. I'll, I'll definitely go farm this just to have it really really good especially in wars because you have a lot of slash damage let's move on to the musket a musket here obsidian aged musket dexterity refreshing power shot not that good purple and keeny jacket keeny jacket not bad but if it maybe had enchanted and uh, elemental perk chain or attunement you can't get attunement but maybe maybe purple if you hit your headshots I, I i i can't but maybe some people can make use of this maybe it's best for them although i can't but let's move on i have 200 and something ping so it's quite difficult so this life stuff stuff of the refouled templar focus place keen beacon and refreshing move so there's already one that you can get in game like this but now there's another way Maybe you enjoy this dungeon a bit more to farm. When it's mutated, then you can farm this one out as well. So really good. Oh, and it looks like it can roll in higher gear score, but it also comes in 590. So really good, really good. Simon Gray will drop it. Really good life stuff. Definitely pick this up if you can. Another one. Oh, I opened it twice. Let's move on to another one. Simon Gray's wrist cards ancient ward invigorated and refreshing super good if you're uh, in need of some medium gloves oh, oh it's focus it's focus medium we don't play medium in as a healer so awful gloves you won't be able to use it if I, it looks like you get the whole medium set for it let's move on i bet this is the whole set that i'm looking at now as well it's focus medium maybe if you play white gauntlet but unlikely yeah this is a real shame i wish it was light and it would have been a lot better so the whole set is basically messed up because it rolled focus which is a real shame since for pve ancient port refreshing for healers would have been amazing even invigorated is really good so really bad i recently did a test where i tested the rune glass gems to see what does the most damage melee damage versus elemental damage and what if you slot in a gem on your weapon so if you want to see that video then you can go watch it right here